ready? Okay. So what I did was just press the button, lean forward, put some pressure on my hands a little bit, and it just stands me up. Yeah, so now I'm ready to go. So, you guys wanna dance? <laughs> While I was in the service, I came in contact with some chemicals. It affected my autoimmune system. It started to shut down. Three years ago, it settled in my brain and settled in my spine, which caused me to be paralyzed. In 2007, I was a senior in high school and was in a motor vehicle accident. I sustained a spinal cord injury, leaving me paralyzed from the waist below. And most of my friends were going away to college, and I wasn't. I was in rehab, learning how to live again, learning how to feed myself and, and clothe myself. I felt like a baby, and it took a while to, to actually feel like a man again. Nearly six million people in the United States live with paralysis. But thanks to huge advances in exoskeleton technology, people like Matthew and Teresa are able to stand up and walk again. Exobionics in San Francisco is one of the leading companies in the bionic suit industry. The exo, it functions in a number of ways for, for different people, but essentially what it is is it's a robot that can add power at your hips and at your knees to help you get up, stand up, and walk. I had to trust the robot, and after a few steps, I started trusting it, and I noticed it was doing all the work for me. It was just so natural where I could just stand there, and all I had to do was lean left and right and shift my weight a little bit onto one foot or the other. Rewalk Robotics, headquartered in Boston, is also on the leading edge of this technology. The Rewalk functions in much the same way as the EXO. On the back of both these bionic suits is a computer that tracks each patient's movements and tendencies through motion sensor technology to make walking as simple as possible. People think that we're carrying this machine. We're not. The only thing that I feel is the backpack. It weighs six pounds. That's all I'm carrying. It's very effortless. While both companies are focused on helping patients learn how to walk again in rehab, the Rewalk has received the first FDA clearance for at-home and community use. Whether it's at rehab or at home though, patients are ecstatic to be able to walk again. The first time they stood me up, they had to sit me down. I boo-hooed like a baby, <laughs> emotionally, because I was doing something that the doctor said I would never be able to do again. There's psychological factors where humans stand and have eye-to-eye -eye contact during conversation, and that's something that somebody in a wheelchair doesn't have. You feel like the world's looking down on you instead of being equal with the world. The return to normalcy might be priceless, but there is an actual cost. The EXO starts at $110,000, while the rewalk begins at $69,500. As of now, there's no standard health insurance coverage in the U.S., though some patients, like Teresa, are covered through veterans programs. And rewalk's CEO believes that patients could actually save money over time. This device is very likely to reduce overall health care cost. An example would be to be treated in the United States for a pressure ulcer is about a $79,000 event. It's an expensive hospitalization. Frequency of fractures uh, that occur because you're not putting uh, a lot of weight on your bones, uh, again, is an expensive event. So when anybody is considering what they pay for it or any insurer is considering what they pay for it, they are going to look very closely at look at what has happened to the health benefits and other things I've gained, and they will see, uh, we believe, a net savings. Exoskeleton suits have been around since the 1960s, but the game changers who have brought the technology this far believe it's still just the beginning. I think you're going to see this segment very active. The whole area of exoskeleton technology uh, will be a very different landscape in just a few years. First, with better products for spinal cord injury, and second, with uh, expanded uh, areas where it can be used. I think that human augmentation is really about to change the world and it's going to improve a lot of people's lives dramatically. And you know, in a few years, hopefully, you'll be able to see uh, grandma at the mall showing off her new exo pants. And those exo pants are going to let her take a walk with her grandkids that she would just be too tired to do before. And th those are the kind of things you're going to see and I think it's going to be really, really exciting.